Hey, good morning, guys. It's travel day. Thanks, Louisiana. It was a great time. As I reflect on leaving Louisiana, meeting some wonderful people, spending evenings around the campfire, there's so many people I want to say thanks to and that I will miss. Certainly one of them is my mom and my sister and her family, thanking them for being such gracious hosts and cooking gumbo for us and all the Cajun foods. It was wonderful having time in New Orleans. And I'm going to let Mike explain this whole picture to you when he does his own video. And I want to thank Chico for recommending the Cafe Du Monde. We had so many fun times eating out at the Crawfish Town and at the Hacienda Mexican restaurant and then coming back and spending some more evenings contemplating our travel plans and life around the campfire. Isn't that what RV life is really all about? As we leave Louisiana, we head to Lake Charles and we boondock underneath this unbelievable bridge right next to the Isle of Capri, uh, the casino that we were going to play in. And so we park there and it's loud and it's obnoxious and there's all kinds of lights and you can see where we're boondocking. But really, you know what? What do you expect for free? I'm getting to spend time with some amazing people, my friends Don and Mike, and they introduced me to some of their friends. Um, and we get to go to the Pujo Street Cafe and have some wonderful food and eat and be merry at the casino having a couple drinks and of course my tradition of getting on the dollar slots winning nothing and then going to the one cent slots all so that we can come back to this beautiful sunset at the end of the day before we leave for Austin Texas okay guys so we spent the night boondocking here at the casino and um, I'm gonna show you this horizon this morning it's beautiful it wasn't a very quiet night because of the road but we're getting ready to head out on the road. See you later. We leave Lake Charles early in the morning and we arrive in Texas to be greeted with these amazing monuments to the pride of this state. And it was very exciting to be in Texas. It had been 40 years since I've actually been to Texas. And I talk a little bit about that in the video that you're about to see. So sit back, enjoy your time watching the video as we head to Austin. Good morning guys, so we're headed out of Lake Charles and we're actually almost to the Texas border. Yesterday's driving was really rough. Um, we had winds of about 20 miles an hour, probably gusting to 25, maybe 30. Um, it was uh, blowing me all over the road. Uh, of course, you know how much I love Louisiana highways and uh, it was no different. You know, this is a nice stretch here as we, as we leave Louisiana and um, head to uh, uh, Texas and we'll be hitting the Texas border here shortly but I wanted to kind of give you a little bit of an update um, what we're doing so we're going to be heading out to Austin going through Houston the weather today is 37 degrees here in Louisiana Texas state border pretty chilly we went out to the casino last night to the Isle of Capri in Lake Charles and we also went to the Golden Nugget. And um, I didn't do too bad. I mean, you know, I actually left with some extra money, but not a lot, you know, maybe $68. But it was fun, you know, when you could spend four or five hours at the casino um, playing pretty much on their money, then that's a pretty good thing. But it was a fun evening. Then we boondocked um, at the Isle of Capri. And, um, you know, that was the first for me in terms of having to use my battery bank. Um, for the furnace because it was cold and what I did I pretty much try to conserve as much power as I could by uh, just heating up the RV and then you know letting it stay heated and then turning the furnace off and then getting back up if it got too cold and turning it back on so and it lasted pretty well so far um, I still have three bars on my um, on my battery so that's good because remember the refrigerator is a residential refrigerator and it runs off the battery bank so ultimately um, we did pr I did pretty well which was really cool um, 
Now, I'm, of course, I'm ready to get hooked up to some power, and that just really solidifies my idea and need for a generator, which I do plan to uh, to get. And then I also want to talk a little bit on this trip about Thousand Trails. I'm not going to talk about it right now. Um, maybe in a in a couple of clips I will, but. Um, I'm thinking about getting a thousand trail membership, so I'm definitely going to be interested in your feedback. So we're turning into uh, Bucky's, which I understand is a huge convenience store. But man, this thing is enormous. Holy crap. It's big, 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 big. Oh, wow. All right, guys. So I said I was going to talk to you a little bit about Thousand Trails. Um, I'm considering doing a membership with Thousand Trails. Um, because I think that it's, uh, as a full-time RVer, it makes financial sense. Um, the upfront cost is pretty high. So um, rather than buying a new membership that is transferable, I guess I could resell. Um, I decided to, that I might look at a resale membership with Thousand Trails. Um, I've had a few friends that have done that and um, I've also um, texted back and forth with Mark and Julie from RV Love who have given me some great information. And if you haven't checked out their blog um, on their website, please do because it gives a great deal of information about uh, Thousand Trails. Um, I'm feeling like I'm almost leaning to the idea that I will purchase it, but um, I don't know. So I would really like your feedback. Let me know in the comments um, if, uh, you know, what you would do. Um, if you have a Thousand Trail membership, let me know. How do you like it? Um, did you buy it new? Did you buy it on resale? And um, you know what are the what's what's the good, bad, and the ugly about Thousand Trails? Okay, YouTubers, it's a little breezy out, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet. But we've arrived here in um, Austin, Texas, and staying at a nice um, country campground out here in the West. In Texas which is uh, actually very nice it's very quiet and right um, across from me here you'll see is a high school I don't know if you can see it with the camera but uh, we're right next to the football field which is pretty cool because you can uh, 
get to see the practices and the games and things. And I guess it gets pretty loud when they have their home games. But uh, the neat part about this is that it's a great place to be able to go and walk. So I'm actually very excited about getting out there and walking. So, yep. So I just want to thank you for coming along with me today and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up. If you like it, please definitely subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more paddy wagon travel adventures.